Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd do a little bit of a um, uh, technology video, but it also has a, a personal connection. Um, some of you may or may not know. Um, you'll notice that <clears throat> lately I haven't been making as many videos as I normally do. Uh, and that's due to the fact that um, <clears throat> maybe a month ago um, I was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. Now, if you're not <clears throat> familiar with atrial fib fibrillation, basically um, it's a condition where the upper chambers of the heart don't beat in synchronization with the lower chambers. And um, the symptoms, my symptoms, are pretty, pretty severe. Um, I get dizzy, lightheaded, very weak, very fatigued, um, occasionally chest pain. My arms are very, very weak. My, my legs can get weak. And that's because the, the, my heart is not pumping blood throughout my body to the extent that it should be. So I had been diagnosed actually with it <clears throat> um, actually about almost a year ago. Uh, but it, it, it didn't, it went uh, away basically and my heartbeat stayed normal for a while and then maybe about a month ago my heartbeat went way out of whack. Um, and so I went to the doctor and he told me that uh, I was in full-blown AFib and that I would need um, to do something. So now they're in a position where they need to take more measures because my heartbeat is not normal and it's basically refusing to go back to normal on its own. So what they decided on was that I would need to go on a, uh, on a blood thinners basically, an anticoagulant because the risk of a stroke and a heart attack is much higher when you're in AFib because the blood pools in the top chambers of the heart and clots can form and so their main concern is to prevent a stroke and so they put me on anticoagulants for three weeks at which time they are going to shock my heart back into rhythm so it's called a cardioversion I will go into the hospital approximately a week from today and um, they will basically uh, put me to sleep for a short period of time while they apply voltage current to my heart um, and shock my heart back into a normal rhythm. Hopefully that works. At that point they're going to put me on antiarrhythmic medication hopefully to control my heartbeat and keep it beating the way it should. <clears throat> now <clears throat> one of the ways that I'm trying to be proactive and, and help myself and and get more information <clears throat> is through the use of uh, a device manufactured by a company called Alive Core. Now there are millions of people who have been diagnosed with AFib and there are millions more that have it and don't know it. Uh, based upon my symptoms I know I've had this for many years. I just didn't know what it was. And finally um, I ended up getting diagnosed because I was in for a routine physical and I happened to have an irregular heartbeat at the time so they were able to catch it do an EKG and diagnose it. So I was lucky in that respect because once you know you have it, of course, your doctors can now uh, put all their efforts into helping you live with it. So 
this particular device is useful because it's loaded as an app onto your iPhone or your Android device and it comes with this little pad configuration here and I'll show you what that looks like and basically you can see in the illustration you put your fingers on the pad and it gives you a an EKG in 30 seconds it also uploads the EKG to a live core where they give you their analysis and then you can also email the EKG to your doctor to try to stay proactive this technology wasn't available up uh, until recently you'd have to go into the hospital to have an EKG or they'd have to put a monitor on you at a much higher expense to try to catch your uh, irregular heartbeat to properly diagnose it so basically um, I have this Cardia app on my phone I open the app and you can see where it says record now so basically you put the pads on the back of your phone you put your fingers on the pads and then you press record now and it gives you a 30 second EKG and then you can take a look at that it'll give you um, a brief description of the EKG you can upload it to a live core to take a look at it or you can uh, email it over to your doctor and they'll take a look at it and give you some feedback now in my case I've already been diagnosed but this just lets me know uh, what the situation currently is now you can see I just did one out while I was talking to you and I'm going to show you you can see it says my heart is beating at rest 97 beats per minute which is obviously not good if I click on the EKG my EKG is all over the place so you can see on the screen that little orange tells me I have AFib I'm beating at 97 beats per minute and my heartbeat is extremely erratic as you can see so this helps me now <clears throat> the hard part is getting through the three weeks um, it's not a comfortable situation because I can feel my heart flip-flopping in my chest constantly um, I've been getting a lot of rest a lot of sleep as I said it's the fatigue that's really the biggest problem because I'm normally very active and obviously I can't do a whole lot of walking or exercising um, the way I normally do so again this is a, a personal issue but there's also a connection to the videos that I make on a daily basis because it highlights technology that's useful in our daily lives and this is certainly useful technology to me so um, if you guys have AFib or you know somebody who does um, you know I'm, I've never had my heart sh shocked before so I'm a little concerned about that but I've done some research and uh, you know they knock you out so I'll be asleep for a few minutes while they do it and hopefully it'll take care of it and then they'll put me on medication to try to control it better that way I can get back to my normal activities so um, guys that is it for this video I wanted to make you aware of the reason that my videos haven't been too uh, frequent lately 
uh, and also let you know that uh, if you have AFib or you know someone who has AFib, uh, perhaps this new technology from AliveCore can help in your case or uh, the person that you know. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.